Hey everybody, Hex Regulus here. Today, I'm showing off my brand new Italianate style house. This is my large, I'm going to call it large. I think it's going to be called large. Large Italianate style house. And I'm very, very happy with it. I think it looks very good. I think it hits the Italianate style very well. The interior is decorated. The exterior is exteriorated. And we are ready to go. So let's have a look at the house. So the first thing you should know about this house is it's not exactly 100% Italianate because this is kind of the Italianate slash uh, Victorian style, actually, because the Victorian style, I guess, has these towers. I don't know. I haven't done research on the Victorian style that much, but I have seen Victorian style houses, and I think they usually have a tower. So having this tower in the front and the cupola kind of in the front incorporated into the tower is kind of a Victorian thing, but it's also Italianate because it has the large uh, overhangs or cornices or whatever those are called, and it still has the tall, narrow windows and the whole deal as far as the Italianate style. So um, I believe it's kind of a mix of the two styles from what I could tell. Um, I actually built this off of a image that I found uh, Googling stuff. And it's not exactly the same as the house. I'm not gonna credit the house and the Google image, but it, it was designed based upon it. Anyway, uh, let's have a look around. So uh, in the front, we've got this kind of nice tower. We've got some nice windows. We've got a doorway. This porch kind of wraps around part of the build. In the back, we have a, a little story that comes out here just to give it a little bit more size, a little bit more interest. And nice fireplace, little chimney. I think it looks good. I also like the idea that it is made of brick because I don't really make stuff out of brick that much. And it was fun to build with brick. Let's take a look at the interior. I really like the interior design in here. I'm not going to do a full tutorial on the interior, but I will do a tu tutorial on like where the walls go. And I'll probably do the fireplace as well because that's a little tricky and it actually is part of the exterior as well. But as far as the interior, like the full interior, I'm not going to have time to do that. But I will take you on a tour um, right now and then I'll go on more of a, a showing it off like showing the room so that you can build them or if you want to do exactly what I did you can um, take a look at the interior there okay anyway I just threw my sign bye sign <laughs> let's have a look inside here we go all right so here we got a little entryway right here I got a little entryway patio thing and I really like this living room I love the fireplace I like the bookshelves on the side I think it's really good I do have fire spreads on by the way so it is in fact stable at this moment uh, yeah, so I'm happy about that. Uh, right here, I love this kitchen table. I think it looks really good. I kind of did like a little centerpiece with grass. like that a lot. Um, nice spacious interior. Little kitchen right here with the door to the back. I think that looks really good. This kitchen's really cool. Can't wait for 1.13 to come out so I can use the trap doors in that. But these are supposed to be kitchen cupboards. You can do your own kitchen if you want to. I did not do like every little detail. I could have done some more stuff and maybe change the backsplash a little bit there, but I did not. So um, I just kind of wanted to give it a suggestion as far as the interior design. Uh, but I really like it anyway. Right here we have like an office slash TV room. Oh, I didn't even put a chair for the for the little office. <laughs> Oops. Uh, oh, well, we'll do that later. It doesn't even matter. A uh, little TV right here. Then we have some stairs to the upstairs. I really like the upstairs. So we've got um, a bathroom right here. So we've got sink, that, and then a mirror. Man, I'm looking a little skinny. <laughs> Just kidding. And then right here we've got our uh, shower. I guess we have a window that I was not aware of. <laughs> All right. And then bedroom number one right here. I was thinking this would be like maybe a boy's room. Uh, maybe like a teenage boy. we got the computer. Again, I did not put a chair for the computer. How strange. And a bed and a window with the panes missing. Oh, well. And then we've got uh, right here, this is going to be maybe like a teenage girl's room or something like that. Um, we've got a little flower pot, bed, paintings. Uh, this would be like a closet. And then right here, we've got some bookshelves and then a very, very tiny bathroom right here. Kind of like this idea for a shower uh, to just have the, the, just the glass blocks. Kind of looks like a shower. You actually can't go into it, but it does look like a shower. Anyway, like that. And then the master bathroom. I think it's a three bathroom. It is a three bathroom. How about that? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
sign message. Uh, no sign there, please. Okay, a uh, little couch right here. We've got, again, a little um, computer desk sans the chair. Uh, we've got a little bit more elaborate thing right here. And then I tried to make some dressers right here. So, yeah. Um, if you checked out my 1.13 ideas, I built some much better dressers with different trap doors, but I'm, this is a 1.12 house. So anyway, uh, and then a little small bathroom right here. Uh, similar design to the other one. And no skinny mirror. <laughs> All right. Very cool. So let's go ahead and get on with the tutorial of how to build this Italianate house. I think this house is pretty easy to build if you get this part right. Okay. So right here, what I've done is I have marked out the, um, let me hit F1 real quick. I've marked out the, the walls, like where they go and how long they are. So if you want to pause the video and just copy that, then that's fantastic. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to be putting, um, I'm going to be putting some andesite I decided to use for my concrete today. It doesn't really matter because this is really not going to be seen, especially if you do all the, um, the landscaping on the outside. It's going to be seen only in a couple places. Uh, so then you would just cover like all of this with andesite. The front is 17 blocks. This little piece right here is three. This right here is 10. That's what these signs are for. Um, across here, it's 11 blocks. Across here, it's one, two, three, four, five, but in not including the corner, then 10 all the way from the corner to corner. And then from corner to corner here, we've got 16 blocks and then eight and then six and 14. But like I said, I think it's a lot easier if you just check it out from here and just build the following perimeter and cover all of that yellow and blue concrete with some andesite blocks. So go ahead and do that first and I'll wait. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that right now. So I'm just gonna cover all this with andesite. Da, 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 da. Okay. There we go. That's our foundation. If you don't want to use andesite, you can totally use stone or cobblestone. It doesn't really matter. All right. The next thing that I did is I used some bricks. So we need to find bricks in our inventory. And while we're in here, we're just going to pull out our white concrete, make sure we got that ready as well. <laughs> now we're going to put a layer of brick all the way around. So here we go. Okay. It's looking good so far. All right. The next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have out your brick your white concrete, and then whatever you're going to use for your windows. So I used the gray, I think it was the light, no, I used the gray stained pane, the, the gray stained glass pane. So what you're going to do is you're going to put a brick there, and then you're going to alternate that with a white concrete, then next a pane, and then next white concrete, and then next brick. Okay, so you're going to repeat that pattern all the way across the front. So white concrete, pane, brick, oop, white concrete, brick, white concrete, pane, white concrete, brick, and one more time, white concrete, pane, white concrete, brick, just like that, okay? Okay, now right here, this is gonna be our door, so we're gonna break that, and we're actually going to put a white concrete right there and there, and then this block right here can be uh, whatever you wanna use for your threshold of your door. I like to use a polished andesite. I think that looks nice, but you don't have to use that. You can use whatever you're gonna use for your floor, uh, like threshold of your door, and your door is gonna go in there. All right. Next up, we're going to put brick here and there and there. And then we're going to put a piece of brick there and we're going to repeat our pattern. So white concrete, pane, white concrete, brick. White concrete, pane, white concrete, and brick. Okay, so that's the pattern across the front. Let me show you that real quick. All right, next we're going to do that. Uh, two more times here. So we got our brick, white concrete, white concrete, pane in the middle, brick, white concrete, pane, white concrete, white concrete, <laughs> brick. 
Okay, and then we're gonna put brick there and brick there, and then we're gonna do one here. So we've got pane by concrete and brick. We're gonna place a brick there. All right, then we're gonna do one here. So brick right there, white con uh, not pane, <laughs> white concrete, pane, white concrete, brick, white concrete, pane, white concrete, and brick. All right. Here we're gonna have two bricks, so one, two, and then right here we're gonna break that and we're gonna put white concrete there and we're gonna break that. That's gonna be another doorway. That's gonna be the door out of our kitchen. So it's gonna be the back door. I'm gonna break that, put a piece of white concrete there, and then so white concrete on those two like that. And then you're gonna put some brick right there. Okay, now you're gonna do one more brick. Then you're gonna do a white con another window. So white concrete, pane, white concrete, another window. So a brick there, then white concrete, pane, Y concrete, and then you're gonna do two bricks, like that. All right, in the next wall, we're gonna have two more. So we have white concrete, pane, white concrete, brick, white concrete, pane, white concrete, brick, and a brick in the corner. Okay, across here, we're gonna have brick, white concrete, pane, white concrete, and brick. All right, then here we're gonna have white concrete, a pane, a white concrete, and then on the other side, we're gonna start from here, we're gonna do white concrete, a pane, white concrete, and then we're gonna fill the middle with brick. This is actually where our fireplace is gonna go, so we will be breaking these out, or some of these out in a little bit, so. Um, just be aware of that, but I'm just going to fill it in with brick for now just to kind of show you where things go. Okay, take all of that up, two more blocks. So what I mean by that is you're going to go up two there, and then you're going to take up this pane two blocks, this pane, or this white concrete up two blocks, uh, this brick up two more blocks, and you're going to do this all the way around. So every single thing that you have here is going to go up two blocks. Okay, so on the doors, I'm just gonna go up like that, and then I'm actually gonna put a block right there, and then a pane here. All right, on the back door right here, you're gonna do the same thing as the front door, actually. You're gonna put a block, you're gonna, so up two, and then you're gonna put a block right there with pain in the center like that. Okay, so far you should have something that looks like this. You're doing great, absolutely great. Okay, next you have a little decision to make. So you may have noticed this on the original. What I did uh, initially is I built my windows like this, where they were just white concrete on the sides and then over the top there was uh, brick, obviously. But then I decided later that I might make my windows like this with the white concrete all the way around like that. I think this style more highlights the way that the Italianate windows are designed because this would be not white concrete, but some sort of molding around the window where it's like, you know, nice, pretty wood that's like all carved, like super cool. And then especially over the top, it would have like an arch over the top. I was trying to simulate that in Minecraft style by doing this um, arch over the top. I think I personally like this, and that's the way I'm going to do that. But if you like this better, if you like these windows better, then you just put brick over the top instead of the concrete. Okay? So let's go back over to the house we're working on, and I'll show you the difference. So if you like the, the way that the front ones are, where the white goes over the window, then you're going to go like this. And 
Then you're going to put a brick where the bricks are. And then you're going to just put white over the windows like that. Okay. If you like the other style where it doesn't have the white over the top, they're just going to put a ring of brick all the way around. Okay. All right. I'm going to go like this though, because I like this better. Over the windows, you're just going to put white concrete over them either way, no matter which style you like better with the brick over the top or not. Okay. That's just over the, sorry, over the windows, over the doors, over the doors, Hex, over the door, over the door, you should make like the letter A, okay? The letter A. All right, here we go. So that's good. Very, very nice. Okay, next what you're going to do is you're going to put a ring of bricks all the way around. Every single block will have brick on it. Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, you don't put it all the way around. You put it all the way around the front. So all the way around. And then once you get to here, the, remember that little room that's in the back? that has like the kitchen and the dining room in it, um, you're gonna come straight across like this. And all the way the rest of the way around. All right, before we go on any further, I thought it would be a good idea to go ahead and do the floor in here and then show you where the walls go. So I think in mine, I use the oak wood planks, if I remember correctly, but you can go ahead and use whatever you want to do for your floor and just basically fill this entire thing in. Okay, so while we're at it, let's go ahead and do some of these walls. So the first wall that I'm going to do is a, just a very small wall, one, two, three, four tall. And then we're going to come across this way like this all the way across to be even with that block right there. Okay, then here what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up one right here. And so one, two, three, four actually, and then across this way all the way across here. So then you're going to go five over here. One, two, three, four, five. And then the sixth block, you're going to build up like this. And then you're going to fill in this entire section right here. All the way across like this. Like that. There you go. All right. And then right here, what you're going to do is, I think I'm going to fill this in with brick right here. Uh, I don't know if this is necessary even to have, but I am going to fill it in with brick. I think you can fill it in with anything because I think that this ceiling and that floor are going to come and meet there and you're not even going to see that line. So, uh, yeah, if you're kind of running low on brick and you're in survival mode, uh, then you can just fill this with anything like the oak planks. You can just leave it empty, actually. Okay, uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to build a wall right here. So it's going to be one two, three, four high, and it's going to come all the way across like this. Okay, and then you're going to build a one uh, wide thing there, and then one, two spaces there, and then like this. And this is going to be our kitchen. Or at least it is in my, in my, okay, like that. Very cool. So then you would come in here and then here's your kitchen. All right, just like that. Cool. All right, those are all of the walls actually for the downstairs area. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put in our staircase. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab some stairs. In my original design, I used some spruce wood stairs. So I'm gonna do that actually here, but you can use whatever you wanna do. If you wanna use the oak wood, that's fine. So you're gonna put two stairs on top of that block, two two stairs on the side of that one and then you're going to come underneath these and do upside down ones right side up ones upside down ones uh, right side up ones and right side up ones here and then you're going to do some upside down ones uh, back behind here if you can get there <laughs> uh, there we go and there we go okay like that you could also fill this entire thing in right here if you wanted to with uh, 
some blocks or something and then kind of have like your, you know, your under the stair kind of uh, Harry Potter sort of situation going on. But I did it just like this. Uh, then also I finished off this little wall with that uh, right there. So then this room has this and that. Okay, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to take uh, your oak wood planks and you're going to fill in everything on this level except where you need some headroom in order to get up the stairs. Okay, that section is done. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to take out your white concrete and you're actually going to put white concrete all the way in here and that's going to be our ceiling for this section. Okay, cool. And then that encloses the downstairs. This is really cool. So then like uh, when you put your cabinets in, like they'll go here and here in your kitchen and then across here. I'm, I'm just demonstrating where they would go with the white concrete. Uh, take a gap for the windows and a gap for the window like that and then across here or whatever. And then I will show you like, um, again, my my kitchen. And But that that's basically how this room would go. Uh, in here I had the table and then the fireplace will go there. We will build that in the tutorial. Okay, cool. We're moving right along. Uh, the next thing that you're going to do The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to build an exact duplicate of this level, of the bottom level, and you're just going to duplicate it right here, except for this section that is in between that block and this block. Okay, so from here to there, it's going to be all brick. I, well, I guess from there to there, it's going to be all brick. But everything else is going to be exactly the same as the bottom, except for where this door is, you're just going to have a regular window over it. Okay, let me show you what I mean, and then I'm just going to finish it all. Um, and jump cut it. Okay, so you're going to put like your window here. Okay. Like this. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, I have a window there, so I'm going to put a window here. And then I don't have a window here, so I'm going to put go all the way across. It's just exactly the same as the bottom floor. The easiest way to do this is to lay it out first, like lay these windows out, and then build up, just like we did on the bottom. So just go like this, like that, like that, and then go ahead and put your brick in, like that, okay? Brick right here, brick, brick, brick. I feel like I'm playing basketball. Brick, brick, brick. Hated that. Brick, 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 brick. Uh, there's going to be a window and brick there and then brick all the way across here. And a window here. All right, for those of you that did, <clears throat> all right, for those of you that may not have understood what I meant by doing the exact same thing above, so this is what I'm talking about. So see, I have a window here, window here, window here, window here, window here, window here. Remember I said put a window above the door, so we're going to have another window there. And then window, 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 window. Notice it's exactly the same as, the, exact, the windows are all in the exact same position as they were on the lower floor, if I could ever get this pane to go in here. There we go. All right, window, window, window. And then from here all the way across, it's going to be brick all the way up. Just like that. Okay, so then go ahead and extend these up two more and then put your um, little white concrete pieces over the tops of the windows. I'm going to do all of that and come back to you. All right, here's what we got so far. So I'm just going to kind of take a one spin around just so you can see if yours is the same. There you go. Just like that. And now's a great time to put in the walls so you can see like where I'm going to put in my walls. Now, again, if you want to decorate yours on the inside totally different and put the walls in a different place, totally go for it because I kind of struggled where to put those. Um, you might have much better ideas and be better at that than I am. 
but I feel like I did a good job with it and I'm happy with it. So I will show you where I put the walls and then I will go ahead and do that and fill in the ceiling also. Okay, so here are the walls. Uh, so we have a gap there for the door, gap there for the door, gap there for a door, gap there for a door, and gap here for a door. But then the walls go like this. So this one, um, like if you just kind of align it to the windows, you can see where they where they go. Except for this one here, and this one is one, two, three from that. And then I also did put a, a wall around this guy, and then I had a very small bathroom right here that I think went like this yeah like that okay so those are the walls kind of check that out okay sweet all right so then i'm just going to build those up all the way up to the four block level so one two three four and then on top of it's going to go a ceiling so i'm going to build these up okay so now you can see the walls again Pretty cool. I like this. I think it looks good. Okay. Very cool. Now on top of that, you're going to cover the entire thing except for a 3x3 three three section right here with white concrete. That's going to be our ceiling. So right here actually is going to be a tower. Uh, so you wouldn't fill in. Well, you can put those right there. But like this part right here, is there's going to be a tower going up. And then it's kind of nice to have the ability to see up into the tower, um, or you could cover it over. It doesn't really matter. Um, it's up to you. So here we go. Oops, I forgot to cover this too. Here we go. There's our door. Sorry. There we go. Okay. Uh, cover the entire thing with white concrete for the ceiling or whatever you're using for your wall block. All right. That's all done. Now, if I was in survival mode, I would definitely light up the inside with some torches or something just to make sure that we don't have any mobs spawning in there. Um, also, you are going to want to put some torches, especially in the middle sections of these big white open areas. That way, when you put the roof over the top of it, there you don't have anybody spawning in there that you have to go and kill out it, kill out later. But if you're in creative mode, then you don't have to worry about that. Okay, um, obviously. So anyways, here we go. We're going to go ahead and next we're going to do the patio. So the patio starts right here and you're going to come out two blocks like that. And then you're going to run it over here somewhere, but then we need to figure out where. So what you're going to do is right here, Underneath this window, you're going to place two blocks like that. You can break all these signs, by the way. Um, and then you're going to just come out like that. So two blocks out this way, and then that's going to link up with that line coming this way. Let me show you. So I'm going to come this way. And I'm using cobblestone for the patio. You can use whatever you want to build your patio out of. Doesn't matter. Okay. Just like that. And then you're going to fill in the entire inside of this thing. All right, it's all filled in. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put some stairs right here. So we're going to go one, two, and three. I'm using stone brick stairs. Whatever stairs you want to use is cool. And then I did uh, two stairs right here as though the patio kind of went into the backyard there like that. Okay, so that's pretty cool. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take out some fence posts. So I like the birch wood fence posts. Ideally, we would want a fence post that is perfectly white like the concrete. So if we had a white concrete fence post, that'd be great, but we don't. So just go with the birch wood, okay? You're going to start with your first fence post right here on the corner. You're going to go up one, two, three, four. And then you're going to come right here and you're going to go up one, two, three, four. And they're three blocks apart. One, two, three, and a fence post. So you're going to have a fence post, one, two, three, and another fence post. So one, two, three three, another fence post, one, two, three, another fence post, one, two, and if you built this right, it'll go right on the corner. One, two, three, fence post, one, two, three, fence post, one, two, three, and right on that corner as well, okay? Then take all of those up so they're four blocks tall. Okay, next on top of each one of those fence posts and going all the way around, you're going to take out some quartz slabs, so starting to get to the roof part. We're getting close. You guys are doing a great job. This is a big build. All right, one, so you're going to put a slab right there, and these are quartz slabs. If we had white concrete slabs, that'd be great. Maybe the version that you are currently using is, uh, well, I'm pretending it's the future, so I probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> but if you had white concrete slabs somehow, uh, you use those. Okay, right there. Oh, Luira, just nice. Okay, next what you're going to do is you're going to get out your 
dark oak slabs. Where are they? Dark oak. Now, I recommend dark oak for the roof. I like dark oak, oak, dark oak, dark oak, uh, dark oak for the roof, but you do not have to use dark oak. You can use whatever roof material you like. So, but I like the dark oak. Here we go. All right, so right there, you're going to punch out that block and then you're going to replace it randomly just because that's what you're going to do. And then next, you're going to go ahead. <laughs> that was a mistake. And you're going to place a dark oak piece right there. Now, I always debate, like, should I put the dark oak there and then make it like that so it's derpy like that, or should I use this and put it there? Um, and I think that looks ridiculous, and then that. Uh, I, I don't know. So I on my original, I did it this way, so I'm going to do that. But you decide what you like better there. Okay, then you're going to bring the dark oak all the way here and all the way around to the other side. And by the way, I'm one half slab up above the quartz oh, like that okay and then keeping in with our theme we're gonna go like that okay cool next you're gonna do one more line behind it right here so on the same level one more our roof is actually gonna go in twos of these half slabs and I'll show you in a minute so I'm just mimicking what the roof is gonna do okay so then basically what I've got is a two wide um, string all the way around except it gets pushed over when on the parts where the building comes out there and right there okay next we're gonna go on this block and you're gonna put slabs there and there and you're just gonna fill in backfill all this and try not to mess up too many times because it's annoying <laughs> all right there we go sweet cool that is our porch all done very cool uh on my porch i put a couple of chairs you don't have to do that you can put whatever you want on your porch doesn't matter, but like I said, I'm not going to do some of those details just because otherwise this tutorial will never, ever, ever, ever end. Next, take out some stairs. You want quartz stairs. Now, this is an interesting part of this build, and I'm going to make it different. I'm going to do it differently than I did on this build here. And here's why. Um, on an Italianate house, we have these little cornice things, and they're actually made of wood usually, and they're sometimes arching, or usually they're arching, and they would be like a little arch support for the, for this uh, cornice or whatever this thing is called, the overhang, I guess, is what I like to call it. But in Minecraft, we do not have any block that can do an arch from here to here in a rounded thing. So what I did is I did these. Now, on a lot of Italianate houses, they're sort of like in pairs. So there's like two, and then like a bigger gap, and then two, and then like a bigger gap, and two, and then like a bigger gap. I tried to simulate that on the front, and I achieved that. However, when you try to do it on some of these other sides, uh, like this side is, like this side right here is slightly different. And so the problem with that is that it doesn't come out like even, and it looks really derpy, <laughs> I think. Um, it works okay right here, but then again on the back, it's like, uh, they're like not even, and it kind of drives me nuts. So what I'm gonna do actually is what I did right here is just go every other one. Now if you wanna try to make them in pairs like this, um, well, go ahead and try, because <laughs> that's actually correct for an Italianate house. But what I'm gonna do, because it's Minecraft, is I'm going to go around the house, and I'm gonna put one every other starting right there. And we're just going to go every other. So one, skip a block, one, skip a block, one, skip a block. And see, this is my part that's hanging down. Okay. And one, skip a block, one, skip a block, skip a block. We're just going to go all the flipping way around the build. That's a hard one to put in. <laughs> okay, very good. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to fill in that row, uh, the rest of it with your regular quartz slabs. So, okay, quartz slab there and there and there in every single space all the way around. And don't forget the corners to put one on the corner like that, okay? Okay. 
Okay, that is done all the way around. No, I haven't forgotten about the tower. Leave me alone. <laughs> okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to take this block right here. And we're just going to come all the way around and we're going to do a second layer all the way around. Okay, so it's going to come out too. All right, let's go ahead and work on this tower. All right, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to break out these blocks. I should have not done these, actually, like that. Okay, so you're going to break those out right there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to place um, bricks above this. And then you're going to go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and you should be back where you started. Then you're going to do one more ring all the way around. Okay. Now you're going to put a small window on each side, like this. You put two, two, one, and then like this. And then on mine, I did a single block here. Uh, should we try going all the way across? Does that look cool? Yeah, that actually might look better than that doing it that way. I'm going to do that. If you want to be exactly like my original, then I did that number right there where these two were bricks. But I think that I'm going to try this. Okay. And we're going to do one of those on each side, right smack in the middle. So there, 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 all the way across, fill it with glass. There, 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 all the way across, fill it with glass. There, 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 not there, there. There, 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 all the way across. Fill it with glass. Glass, glass, glass. Glass, glass, glass. Okay? Just like that. Next, you're going to fill in the corners with your bricks. Like a dat. Okay, to finish this thing off, we're going to go and do one more layer of bricks all the way around. And make sure that you delete that corner and then place another block back in there. <laughs> That'll be super helpful to have that done. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go and do our uh, every other block with a court stairs all the way around. It's exactly the same roof construction as below. Just a little bit smaller roof. Okay, like that. And then place your quartz slabs in between each one of these. There we go. Just like that. Well, this has been Hex. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And w Oh, yeah, I forgot to do the rest of the roof. All right. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and take out your your dark oak slabs. I'm going to start on the tower first. And you're going to go around all the way around like this, and you're going to do two rings inside of each other. So one all the way around, and then a second one all the way around. And every roof is exactly the same as this, except for the back roof, which doesn't go all the way around. Okay. Next, you're going to come up one and go all the way around twice again. Uh, try to break that block there, and then you need to break this bl brick right here and then replace it randomly, just because that is important. Just kidding. Like that. Okay. That's how I did that roof. Simple little roof. Looks like a little top hat. Yay! You might be able to make a slightly higher pitched roof on this one here, so if you want to do one ring, one ring, and then one, one, that might look good. I don't know. You could give it a try um, if you don't like it being this flat. But Italianate roofs are very flat, so um, they're not perfectly flat, but they, they have a much lower pitch than uh, a traditional um, house. Okay, next we're going to basically do that same construction style on this. So we're going to go around two, all the way around. All right, 
So that's one layer all the way around. You see that? Now I'm going to go for the second one all the way around. Okay, very cool. So that's two all the way around. Now we're going to go up a half slab and go all the way around. Okay, to deal with this tower, what I did is I broke this block right here and I did uh, slabs right on top of the con white concrete like that, okay? Just like that. And then I brought this right here this way. Then what I did is I took this guy right here and what I'm, what I'm gonna be doing is putting a, another row all the way around. So then I'm gonna put a block there and as though this was the second block and then I just met that up with that right there like that. So then you have this sort of thing, okay? Just like that. Now, I know that this should be two over, but the problem is if we do that, then we only have a one wide thing on the top and it looks a little funny. We actually have that naturally over here and you'll see what I mean by it looking kind of funny. You can kind of see it over here. Um, so let me kind of show you what the completed roof is gonna look like. So we have this one wide strip here and then a two wide strip there and then this right here. Um, that's just how it turned out. I think that that's the best way to deal with it. It doesn't look too funny, especially since it's all in the dark oak. Um, you, you can't really tell that that's what's happening. But from this angle, it does look a little silly. Why is there only a one wide thing there and a two wide thing there? But it, it just works, so just trust me. Okay, uh, here we go. So then we're gonna continue this all the way around with our second row for this layer. All right, now we need our third layer. So we're gonna go up one and then break that. I, it just bugs me when I'm trying to do half slabs there. Now this would be the place that maybe you might wanna put some torches like in the middle of this um, if you're in survival mode, just to keep you know things from, not sp from spawning up there, okay? All the way around with a double row. So we have basically a double row all the way around um, on the inside of that, okay? And then now we just go up one more block there, break that one, replace it, <laughs> and then just finish it off. Okay, like that. So then I'll just do a quick little run around so you can kind of see if yours looks the same. Now I actually had mine quite a bit different before I um, started setting up for this tutorial. I had that quite a bit different and it still looked okay. So as long as you have, you're going for these double rows rather than a single row, then the roof pitch is going to be okay. All right, there you go. All right, next we're going to do this one here and then I'll show you the interior. We might put a couple doors in and then that's going to be it. Okay, I know it's getting long. Bear with me. So we've got one, two, three double rows, and then we're going to come around here. And then we're just going to finish it off. Four right there. That's how we get that look. All right. That's good. That's basically the entire house done. Now, the last thing that I would do is I would take out some leaves. This uh, oak leaves, whatever leaves you like, and just go around where the foundation is just to kind of cover it up. All right, in the back here, I did a very small patio. I did not do an awning over it or like a patio cover thing. What would you call that? Just a small little patio. So I did that, and then we, I'm just looking for my stairs. 
on the stairs. One, two, and three. And that's my little patio in the back. And I think I actually went all the way around with this. So, like that. And then... Yeah. There we go. So I went all the way around with the stairs. That was good. Sweet. Okay. Uh, the very last thing that we need to do is this fireplace. Let's take a look at how we're going to do that. All right. So right here, we're going to take out the middle one, two, three, four blocks like that. And we're going to go up mm, like that maybe. And then that looks good. Okay. Then right here, we're going to dig out those six blocks like that. Then we're going to take out our fireplace material. I use some stone brick. So we're going to get out stone bricks if I can find them. Jeopardy theme plays now. Okay, sweet. So then what I did is I went like that and like that. And then you're going to break out these right here and you're going to come out one like that. Okay, so there's your fireplace. All right, next you're going to come out one more right here. And then right here and here, we're going to put some bricks. Um, I, I don't know. I like made a mistake and then I jump cut and, and anyway. Um, so sorry. So that's, that's what you need right there. And then across here, I'm going to put some stone bricks. And then right here, we're going to have stone bricks all the way around like that. Okay. Then inside, you're going to place your, uh, well, well, we'll come back in and do that in a minute. Okay. So just leave that open for now. All right, in the back, we're going to come up like this and just fill this all in. <laughs> like that. And then from there, you're just going to come up two. And these two blocks are going to go right up here, and they're just going to go punch through your roof. Like that. Like that. Okay. And then you're going to come up one and two more. And then on top of that, I put some brick slabs, or did I go up one, one higher? Yeah, and then one higher than this, and then brick slabs. You could put whatever you want on the top as far as that. I, I like the look of brick slabs. I thought that just kind of tied everything together, but um, you could put whatever slab you want on here, or you could put the iron trap doors. You could just leave nothing. doesn't matter. Like that. Okay, cool. And then you could, like right here, put um, a block like this. And one like that to make your fireplace. I think that looks good. Okay, very cool. Next, you're going to come around the front. And right here, you are going to put... Why did I take my stone bricks out? I always do that. <laughs> okay, right here, you're going to put a block there. Actually, right here, you're going to break out this row of four. And you're going to place stone bricks right there like that. Okay. You have to have these out. Otherwise it starts burning your ceiling and please, please, please. Um, mine's been stable, but try this. If you have fire spreads on, like make sure that, um, you know, just be really careful and watch it for a good few minutes to make sure that it's not burning any of these, or you might even like, um, just leave some of these wood blocks out for a little while until you feel comfortable that, uh, it's stable. Okay, anyways, here we go. What we're going to do is we're going to put some ma uh, magma block. I like magma blocks. You could use netherrack too in there. Then you're going to light those with a flint and steel like this. Very cool. And then I took out some of the darkest uh, stained glass that I could find, the black stained glass. And I think this makes like a nice modern little fireplace. Like that. Very cool. That looks nice. Okay. Very cool. Um, as far as doors, you could get a birch wood door. Place it there. Nice little door. Birch wood door in the back in the kitchen. On the inside, I would probably use the um, dark oak doors in the different room. So you put a dark oak door there. You probably use birch too. It doesn't matter. Whatever you want. All right. That is the structure of the build completely done. Uh, 
I'm going to run you through now the interior stuff. I'm just going to show you each room and then you can copy it if you want to, or you can do your own thing. Doesn't matter, but I promised I would do that. So I'm going to do that. And then that will be the end of this tutorial. Yeah, I know the front door is different. Leave me alone. Okay, so here's the living room. Surrounding the stone bricks. I did some of these. Looks like I did, in fact, fill those in uh, on the fireplace. I filled in um, all of the stone bricks all the way to there. And then I did some bookshelves. I think that looks really cool. Iron trap doors there. Here's my couches. In retrospect, I might have used the uh, quartz slabs for the for the seats, but stone slabs look okay. Here's a little entryway table. Um, right here, entryway. In here, coffee table, couch, some bookshelves. Had a big bookshelf theme going on. Little uh, computer. So, in case you don't know how to do this, it's a um, pressure plate, that's an iron pressure plate, and then you have the uh, little painting behind it. The painting's actually attached to the glass, but it doesn't connect, but the painting's stable. And then an end rod for a lamp. Here's our TV, so some sea lanterns, cover them with trapdoors, and then this is just six blocks of black concrete for our TV. Here's the table. Um, I did two grass blocks in the center, surrounded it with upside downstairs, right side downstairs, right side upstairs here. Pretty simple little uh, table arrangement, acacia wood. Here's a lamp up here, using that same trick with the um, sea lanterns and covered by trapdoors. Uh, here's our kitchen. I I, I used uh, I like to use iron blocks for the counter sometimes. Um, I think that any kind of powdered concrete looks good because kind of simulates a granite or a corian kind of thing, if you know what corian is. And then, our, looks like I did use a birch door for our back door, huh? Oh, there you go. Okay. Uh, upstairs room. Here's the little bathroom. Got a painting here over, and then here's, so I tried to do like a mirror where it's like I'm looking at myself. Here's me, and here's me. <laughs> I think the the skull makes a funny mirror because it's blue like a mirror kind of, you know, you think of mirrors as being sort of bluish tint. And then there's this person looking back at you. This is a skull. It's a funny mirror. Uh, right here, these are supposed to be the curtains for the little tub. The tub is just four stairs of quartz pointing at each other to get a little tub. I don't know. It's whatever. Here's the bedroom. So... Um, now, this right here is going to be tough in survival mode. You could just put a sea lantern up there. Or maybe you're uh, Minecraft rich. Yeah. yeah, that's a little better. <laughs> yeah. a, paint, a painting in the hallway or two. Here's this room. So I did uh, some white concrete here as a headboard. And then some bookshelves to frame in that. This right here. I kind of like this whole thing. These are just stairs. Quartz stairs and then some chests. Simple bathroom. I like to use shulker boxes as counters sometimes. They make a simple... Because they have detail on them already, it's like... It, they make... It's just really easy to put them on there. Okay. In here. Got some end rods for lighting. Little table. There's a shelf up there. These dressers. You could just do four chests. One, two, one, two. Huh? That. And this bathroom. You'll notice that this bathroom goes all the way up to into the tower. Man, I wasn't very good at placing windows, was I? <laughs> Oh, well. This was kind of the prototype. All right. That's it. Oh, yeah, this lamp. I debated about whether this lamp looks cool or not. <laughs> I think it looks cool. It's a shulker box lamp. <laughs> kind of expensive way to make a lamp, but, you know. Whatever. I did a little extra work to the grounds just to make the thumbnail of the video cool, but... 
Uh, as you can see, I did a pathway around it and surround, you know, did like a perimeter of some, uh, like some hedges or something. But you can be creative with, with the exterior. This is about the house. All right, you guys, this has been Hex. I really hope that you enjoyed this little house. I definitely enjoyed making it for you doing this little tutorial. I think that it's a really cool looking house. I think it has lots of curb appeal. I think your neighbors will be very jealous of your house. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope that you're having a great day. Don't forget to leave a like or subscribe and all that stuff. And more importantly, I hope that you have a wonderful day. And God bless. Thank you.